Hi, and this is V-shaped valley formation with Mr. Mercer on Geography Geeks. Now, once again, I'm going to take a three diagram structure approach. And remember, you can either choose to put labels on those diagrams or number the arrows and then write a paragraph relating to them. So let's get started. The first diagram is very simple and it shows a cross section of a river flowing across a landscape. This here in the center is the river's um, channel and label one pointing to that channel shows that vertical erosion is taking place. The water is eroding down through the soil vertically. Moving on to diagram two, we can see that these areas to either side of the channel are going to be worn away. You want to mention at label two that erosion will take place through the processes of a hydraulic action and abrasion. Abrasion, remember, is when uh, material carried within the water is thrown against the, the banks of the river and wears that uh, soil and rock away. And hydraulic action is the force of the water pushing water and bubbles under pressure into weaknesses in the rock, breaking them apart. So label two is a good opportunity to score marks in this answer. Diagram three is looking up the valley, and you can see I've added in a little river, and it has a very simple label, which is that um, the eroded material on the valley sides, perhaps formed now through the process of, of weathering, known as freeze-thaw, roll down into the river and are transported away. You could mention that this leaves a V-shaped valley of interlocking spurs behind. So in summary, make sure you mention abrasion and hydro hydraulic action and vertical erosion. After that, that the valley sides, perhaps assisted by weathering, are eroded and that the broken rocks are transported away um, by the river. This results in a V-shaped valley with, as you can see in the diagram, interlocking spurs. I hope that's helped. Uh, if you have any questions about this, come and find me in class. Otherwise, make sure that you can draw these diagrams and put either labels on them or a paragraph underneath.